Also, I, I realize I just forgot to start the recording, so so the VOD is now being recorded. So that f 15 years from now, I'll have it uploaded to YouTube. I wish I could take Monkey, but I can't. We may not see each other for a while. Change party members? Yeah. I named the pink thing Monkey. It's the only name I've changed in the entire game. So I want to keep Billy, because Billy has real good healing abilities. But I kind of want to swap Ellie out with Bart, because Bart has really good... Uh... Buffs and debuffs. Can I swap Faye out with Ellie? No. Okay. <laughs> Can't get rid of the main character. He's back. He's not going anywhere. I think this is going to be our party for now. The, the boys. Yeah, they are sculpted. Here's Monkey. It talks, by the way. So it is. it really is this game's Kate Sith. Monkey is the Kate Sith of Xenogears characters. I admire Primera. She's only a child, yet she has been through so much. Who? But then you look at me. I'd better start to get my acts together. I don't want to talk to Monkey anymore. I spoke to Monkey and it was basically uwu speech. <laughs> I think we're gonna need like an IQ down emote. Uh, you're right, Monkey does kinda look- or the Nopon do kinda look like Monkey. I don't even remember what Monkey's original name was, hold on. I need to look up this little pink thing and see what its original name was. Because I, 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 I butchered it. Xeno... Gears... Pink... Thing. <laughs> Choo Choo. Its name was originally Choo Choo. Okay. I mean, I should have guessed, I guess. I like Monkey better. <laughs> yeah, it's it looks like do not open hatch while in motion, Sigurd. Oh, we're not docked. I thought we were docked at Babel Tower. Uh, it's like a debuff icon from Paper Mario. It's just like a brain with a down arrow. That would make a good emote, especially with how often we lose IQ here on this stream. Some new parts were brought into our gear shop down below. Why don't you go and check them out? Shall we launch the Yggdrasil? Uh, not if there's new gear parts. So we're headed to Babel Tower, where humankind tried to reach God, and then he split their tongue. Basically, when I recap this game, all I have to do is, is remember which chapter of the Bible we're in. Twitch mentioned, mentioned affiliates getting like 26 emotes. I don't know if that's how many they start you off with, but man, if, if that's what they start you off with, Jesus. Make sure everyone's tuned up. Okay, you start with three. All right, that's fine. Okay, uh... I, I had an idea for an emote that I would like to do at some point. We, 
if depending on how many we start with, we'll pick, we'll pick priorities. But I kind of want a uh, Queen Brawn emote that's just her face. Yes, I, I understand the Japanese have an odd fascination with Christianity. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want a Queen Brawn emote of just like her face looking directly into the camera. Uh, for when she is not impressed. Did, do you guys know about Japanese Jesus? <laughs> oh look, I can go to a V- I can go all the way up to a V28. It loses some fuel though. What's it drop me down to? 2200 fuel? I don't know if I should go with the 3,000 fuel or the 2,200 fuel. What's the... Yeah, so uh, we'll do a Queen Brawn emote for sure at some point. I don't know if it'll be one of the first ones we do, but... Just... What are you referencing, Gear Joe? <laughs> More fuel, or... Hold on, what's my current fuel level? 2,500? Ugh, I, I don't want to go lower than that. Engine. I'm gonna go with, with the more fuel. Fuel seems like probably a good choice. Well, 6100. Well, uh, I'll just go with the more expensive one. You know, it is kind of like customizing a car. Thanks for bringing that to my attention, Gear Joe. Should have had a V8. AR value 300, Ether armor value 10. What's my current ether armor value? I wish it was easier to check what your current stats are on your gear without exiting this menu. Hold on, let me check. I want to see what that my current ether defense is. Guys, I don't even have a license. <laughs> I walk everywhere. If my legs can't get me there, someone else's car will. Vehicles and I, 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 I... I've talked about this before, but vehicles and I do not get along. How do I view what is on my gear. Other defense is at 81, but that doesn't tell me what is, like, equipped on the damn thing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna buy the $10,000 armor and call it a day. I get horribly, horribly motion sick in cars, and I have ever since I was a kid. Long car trips in, were were evil incarnate when I was a child. I would have to frequently get out to throw up. And that never went away. But I can play VR for hours on end and not get sick. I, I, 
It really is the motion. Something about m moving, actually moving, when I'm not moving. I don't- my body does not like it. Oh, by the way, we got some new, um, ammo. And... Possibly... A new whip for him. So this is the stream where we spend all of my money. All right, I'm not gonna work on Vierge or Heimdall for now. Brigandier, you're gonna get upgraded. You know what? I will give him this one. Are you, am I running Final Fantasy IX? What? No, I'm. This is Xeno Gears. Unless your question was something else. <laughs> In layman's terms, yes, this is Alien Cogs. Uh, if you're questioning why Sky Knight keeps referencing Queen Brawn, it's because we want to do a Queen Brawn emote at some point of just her face staring directly into the camera. Frame, frame. Okay, now we just gotta do Billy's. Billy! Final Fantasy IX will be a stream someday. But, uh... Because I enjoy that game very much. But I have a gamer confession. I have a gamer confession, Evil. Don't praise me just yet. Because you're about to nail me to a cross. And that is a very topical reference. I have never beat Final Fantasy IX. Which means that when we stream it, it will be a... for af After disc one, it will be a blind playthrough. I never got past this. Well, I got past this one, and I never got further than that when I was a kid. And I've never sat down and played the game again since I was a kid. And I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to actually sit down and properly beat that game, which is what. Which is what RPG Monday is all about: playing games or RPGs, specifically older ones typically, uh, and beating them so that I can cross them off my bucket list. I was a kid... I was... Okay, I played Final Fantasy IX nearly 13 years ago. I did think about that one because I'm getting old. Sky Knight, I'm not... 15. <laughs> if I was 15, I wouldn't be working my ass off. <laughs> All the time. To afford my apartment. <laughs> if I was 15 streaming, you'd hear my mom vacuuming in the background.
<laughs> okay, let's put this new whip on him. Plus 40 damage. Now that's a lot of damage. I am as old as my dad was when he gave birth to me. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the adventure finally. <laughs> I'll never, unfortunately, I'll never, well, I mean, someday I'll be as old as my dad is right now, but I'll never be the same age, age as him. In four months, I'll be 23. Okay, wait, no, this isn't the Tower of Babel. Why did my save say Tower of Babel? <laughs> if, even though I wasn't there yet, it was just like reminding me where to go next, I guess. I'm not bragging about how young I am. I'm sorry that I'd have to live my entire life up to this point again just to be as old as you are. <laughs> All right, Yoda. <laughs> I guess we're doing this area in our mechs, by the way. Time to time to take him out for a test drive. <laughs> I haven't seen Up since it came out. I've only seen that movie once. I'm pretty sure it was at school, too. Yeah, I remember it being quite a quite a sad movie at times. Oh boy, here we go. Time for platforming. What happens if I fall in the water? You guys know what I've been watching? <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this on stream or not. No? 
No. <laughs> I've been watching the live. <laughs> I've been watching the live-action Cowboy Bebop on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, Sky Knight's right. This is a Christian stream. We only play Christian games like Xenogears. Christian. Uh, okay. Well, I missed the jump. I want the chest. I need the treasure chest. Anyway, I'm actually enjoying the live-action Cowboy Bebop. I think that's the thing I'm more ashamed of admitting. Uh... It's not as good as the original, obviously. But I haven't disliked any of it so far, so... Yeah. Okay, you just called it a cartoon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my katana. Well, I mean, anime is not for everyone. <clears throat> But, I mean, if you're gonna watch one anime, watch Cowboy Bebop. It's jazzy. It's got fun characters. And it's a story that is serious when it needs to be. You guys are like 70 years old. Why haven't you seen Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> uh. Light armor plus one. Well, then you should watch Cowboy Bebop. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. I mean, obviously, you, if you don't want to, then don't, but... Wow, that did a lot of- that was a lot of damage. The anime and the live action are both on Netflix. And if you don't have Netflix... I will mail you my Blu-ray copy of Cowboy Bebop, and you can watch- you can watch it on that. My, one of my favorite things about Cowboy Bebop is that every episode is pretty much self-contained. You get a, you get a, it's like Star Trek. You get a uh, setup and a conclusion in every episode. There is an overarching plot, but there's only a, there's only two two-part episodes in the entire show. 
why? Why did they have to do, do why did they have to do me like this and put a platforming section in this game? Star Trek. Sky Knight, I'm pretty sure we've talked about Star Trek before, because I watched it all the time growing up. With my... Uh, well, with my dad. And yes, Deep Space Nine is good. Walk! That's my auto impression. That'll be fifty dollars. I mean, I'm probably not the only person who feels this way, but Quark and Odo were my favorite characters. Like, my favorite duo in that show. They were friends without realizing it. Or maybe they did realize it. Don't tell me I have to, like, Tarzan my way over there. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm gonna have to leave Babel Tower and repair my mechs. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay, hold on. We're leaving Babel Tower, and we're going to repair our mechs, and then we're going to try again. If I can even leave Babel Tower, Jesus. Hold on a second. I got something fitting for this part. This horrible, horrible section. Evil, I know a lot of people who would uh, crucify you for that for that chat message. I'm not one of them, but that is a that is a controversial statement to make. At least the first part of it. Okay, we can have game audio back. I mean... I will agree with you. I think uh, Deep Space Nine is infinitely better than TNG. But I, I like a lot of... I like a lot of TNG episodes, and I, I really like uh, Will Riker.
Data and, and Jordy are good characters, too. I just like Riker's beard. Dr. Crusher! I think one of my dad's favorite episodes of TNG was always the episode where Jordy and Data uh, roleplay um, Sherlock Holmes in the holodeck and accidentally create a sentient Moriarty. Yeah, because in the follow-up, Moriarty ends up taking over the ship, right? Some Somehow. He ends up seizing control of the ship. Or something, if I'm remembering this correctly. Don't tell me my mechs are at full health. How could they be? Why? Right, okay. So I did remember that. But my dad is a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, always has been, and so do I, so am I, so... That was always a fun episode, couple of episodes. The stream has turned into just us talking about Star Trek, which is fine, because this game literally referenced Star Trek in the last, uh episode, I guess you could say. Uh, you know what you know what I have to say about Voyager? The Vulcan lady was sculpted but well built. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Or not Voyager, fucking Enterprise. How did I mix the two of those up? <sighs> Excuse me for saying the wrong word for expedition. <laughs> I only vape. Nicotine-free, flavorless vape. Essentially, it's just a mouth-operated fog machine. I don't vape. Don't- don't take that out of context. I do know that you can buy flavorless nicotine-free vape, though, which is pointless. I think. Just inhale a goddamn campfire smoke if you want it if you want if you want to experience what that would be like I feel like I need to show you guys a clip from Cowboy Bebop to defend myself. I must... I must defend my honor. Evil, now you're... now you're getting things mixed up because... Magazine, like... I guess porn magazines still exist, but 
Why would I ever need to, to buy a magazine in this day and age? Just saying. There was, there's only ever been one, I'm, I'm man enough to confess this, there's only ever been one Playboy magazine that ever caught my attention. And it was because the centerfold was a cosplayer cosplaying 2B from Nier Automata. They got me with a Square Enix character. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I didn't buy the magazine, but that would have been the only one I would have bought. Just for, just for that one centerfold. I did tell my dad that if I was ever rich, I would build the Playboy Mansion 2. <laughs> I don't like fighting these little things. Guys, I live alone. No one's gonna bother me when I'm doing my research, as Evil has so kindly put it. By the way, my word for it is a cranky wanky. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen the new Star Trek Picard show. I've heard I've heard awful things about it. I heard something about... Okay, could... Sky Knight, confirm something for me. Is there... Finally, a disagreement between the two of you. One of you likes Picard and one of you doesn't. And anyway, is there a scene in Star Trek Picard that involves, like, someone's eye and a drill? Those are the key words I'm going to use. Okay, how do we proceed from here? Do we... Oh my god. No, why did they pop up the controls on the screen? Why is there body... Okay, why is there body horror in a Star Trek? I mean, okay, yes, you got Wrath of Khan, and you got the earworm things, and you got shit like that, I guess, but, like... Does Star Trek really need, like, violent, like... ...body horror? <laughs> By Star Trek, I mean Star Trek, like any any Star Trek show, any of them. Okay, I let me actually, you know what? Any Star Trek that came out before I came out. But 
when I think of Star Trek, I think of TNG. I think of Deep Space Nine. I don't think I don't think about these new shows with like swear words and violence. <laughs> Star Trek has always been a show that I watch with my family. I don't know. I, I don't know. It just feels weird that the new Star Trek shows are the kind of shows I would not watch with my family. How did I grab that rope that one time? This is the episode of uh, Xenogears where we get nowhere. We make no progress. And things don't go well. Pro tip, shoot the cyber demon until it dies. I'm just glad that the two of you finally found something you don't agree on, that's all. Usually it's one of you agreeing with me, and then the other, uh, <clears throat> evil, disagreeing with me. And then the two of you agreeing on something else. Okay, so even you don't consider the new Star Trek, Star Trek. I'm not trying to drive a wedge between you guys. I'm trying to drive a bigs between you guys. By the way, <laughs> to avoid complications with my capture card, I'm going to be doing Peace Walker tomorrow night, and then we're going to be doing Final Fantasy VII and only Final Fantasy VII Wednesday. Because swapping from PS3 to PS5 was a horrible, horrible experience that I do not ever want to do again. No, not Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Wednesday will... Tomorrow night will be Peace Walker only. Wednesday will be Final Fantasy 7 only. Did I say Final Fantasy 9? I wish they could fly, Gear Joe. I really do, because most of them... In fact, all, mine does fly like three feet above the ground. How can I not do this section? That's the frustrating thing. The other frustrating thing is it's gotten to the point where I'm doing the first part of it mindlessly while talking about Star Trek, and then I get to the rope and I start to focus, and I grab the rope, and then I ungrab the rope, and the controls only pop up when I touch the rope. And I jump right through the rope. <laughs> this part is miserable. I've been playing this game for 30-something 30, 30 hours, and I this is the first time they've, they've pulled some bullshit like this. I think I ran out of enemies to fight. <laughs> this is the reason they aren't going to bring this game back. This one part. Why is it... Oh. They want me to jump at it from the side because it's left and right to swing on the goddamn rope. Left and right to swing on the rope, even though, how are you going to see- uh. <laughs> Now this... This is amazing. Whoever had the idea to make a RPG game have a platforming section should, should definitely still be working at Square. I don't know. It looks like evil's suffering right along with me.
Listen, I've almost got it. I just need to get it from this side. Alright, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I need to just keep triangle held down. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Who would do this? <laughs> Who would do this? <laughs> At least the goddamn enemies ran out. I would be fighting... <laughs> I would be fighting... <laughs> I would be fighting so many goddamn enemies if they didn't run out. Grab the rope. Don't jump off afterwards! Okay, so I'm gonna just let you in on a little secret here. You press triangle to jump, right? As soon as you let go of triangle, you drop like a cement brick. So here's a jump if I hold down triangle the whole time. Now here's a jump if I let go of triangle after pressing it. Wow, that did not demonstrate what I was trying to demonstrate. Oh, I did it. I did it. Alright, just swing that goddamn rope. There is a part in Final Fantasy IX where they make you do this, kind of. But it works a lot better because you don't have to... You don't have to platform in that game. Now, how will I know when I've built up enough momentum? Oh my god, I did it. Now let's not fall again. Alright, we're getting through this part, and then I'm making you guys watch a clip from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on yesterday. Maybe, I mean, it could have been an issues on Twitch's end for all week, no. But I did, I swear I did not change any settings between yesterday and today. You both openly admitted to liking cartoons. Or at least Sky Knight did, but I'm pretty sure you did too, Evil, so... I- I don't know what to tell you. You know what's you know what else is smooth? The Cheetah Men game on Action 52. Smooth as ice. That too, typically. Okay, take it easy, finger. No. No, you did not just do that to me. Square Enix, making this part of the game, just said, Fuck you, to the player. Have a nice day. Alright, we're taking a quick break real quick to watch a clip from Cowboy Bebop. Hopefully this is in English, because, personally... Personally, uh, the Cowboy Bebop's English dub is my favorite way to watch Cowboy Bebop. 
the dub, the, the both the English and Japanese dubs were recorded at the same time. Also, this clip is from Cowboy Bebop the movie, which came out just after the show. Let me get this on screen here. All right, yeah. So that was that was uh, Cowboy Bebop, the opening scene to the movie. Back to this. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Wow, that's loud. Let's see if we can get through this platforming section. By the way, it might not have looked like it, but the show takes place in the future. It's okay, I'm just practicing my speed run of Babel Tower. Eventually I'll have this uh, memorized so good I can do it with my eyes closed. swinging. Sturdy ass rope that it can hold up three mechs. Excuse me. Gears. One of my favorite episodes of Cowboy Bebop, the crew eats magic mushrooms and spends the entire episode tripping out. They don't eat them on purpose. Yeah, three mechs that can fly. In fact, we've seen mechs fly in this game pretty regularly in, this, in the cutscenes. Alright, don't fuck me, finger. Alright, don't finger fuck me. Asshole. That's... It appears to be some kind of relay station. Okay, just... Yeah, just take me up there automatically, please. I say, I say what I say, usually on purpose. When I said, don't fuck me, finger... I had to say the other line because it just popped into my head. Finger popping each other's assholes. This stream is 18 plus for a reason. This looks like some kind of relay station to the upper atmosphere. Can we control it from this room? Looks like we can get in through the here. Oh, we're ants now. Oh good, a battle. I hope it kills me so I can load my last save. And do that platforming section all over again. Oh yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. That was an enemy meant to be fought in a mech.
Let me use that OP item that I bought a bunch of. The one that's supposed to cost 500 bucks but only cost 50. Where is it? No, oh, where is it? Master Blaster is from Mad Max. Which Mad Max? I'm going to assume the uh, Mel Gibson Mad Max. Where did that really cool item I bought a ton of go? Or can it only be used in certain spots? Yeah, ha ha ha. Let me go check the water and see if my item is in there. That's absolutely where it is. Omega Soul? I swear I had more than five of these. Alright, fine. Let me just use an Omega Soul. I... okay. Received gold nugget. This appears to be the relay station control room. Let's try a few things around here. Okay, well, so far nothing's doing anything. Oh. What have I done? Not, o not only have I never been to Disney, I've never been to a theme park. Can I get back in my mechs, please? Actually, I'm probably not supposed to, am I? Why is the whole station sideways? Okay, I took a leap of faith there. I don't know if I should have. All right, we, we need to get in our mechs. Get, get on your mech. Because for a game with platforming, it doesn't have, it doesn't have Fall damage. Fail states? Like soft locking? I I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Heather armor.
Oh, there might be. Um, but you can just teleport your mechs to you. Uh, thanks. Did that thing just do? Did it heal me or did it suck and it health out of me? It doesn't... Not that it matters, it's dead either way. Yeah. So, honest thoughts on the little clip of Cowboy Bebop I showed you. It looks like we can get into the upper room through here. Huh. We'll need to get out of the gears <laughs> and cross via the handrails. Beam Jammer. That must be a jar of jam. Get out of the mechs. I have to do it from this menu, don't I? I swear there's a button you can press. To just get in and out of them, but it doesn't seem to be working. Wow, okay. That was frightening. Old circuit. Gold nugget. They're, they're giving me a lot of some money. Free money. What? Looks like the driver's seat is next to it. Ta Babel Tower is like a vehicle. Yeah, it's a spaceship. Hey, it started. All right, let's go. Controlled Major Tom. You've really made the grade, and the papers want to know who shut you where. Where are we going to climb to? De are you guys dead? <laughs> Is this sh <laughs> okay? <laughs> Hey, we're going out on the outer wall. <laughs> I know. Tell me about it, Evil. It's never easy. I'm surprised you guys didn't die of old age waiting for me to get through that platforming part. Reading chat and miss, missed dialogue, it's fine. 
crap, the track's gone. We're going outside. Well, I suppose we're all aboard the crazy train right now. Not anymore. Missed opportunity to play Crazy Train 8-bit. What's that? The Gebler ship. Mental wounds still healing, driving me insane. We're going off the rails on a crazy train. I would do an Aussie impression, but no one will be able to tell what I'm saying. I've been waiting, Faye. Last time at sea, I was rendered unconscious by a surprise freighter. But that won't happen this time. I won't let you go up. How did they know we were here? Our back's to the wall. We can't run. I guess we have to fight. Here we go. We're still on disc one of this game, by the way. This game has two discs. Nearly... F well, just over 30 hours in, we're still on the first disc. Uh, what abilities does Billy have inside of his mech? Right, okay. Alright, just go for, uh... Go for an attack. Yeah, disc two is just gonna be a, a animated movie. When did I get yin and yang power? Uh, oh, they, they buff you and debuff you. Damn it. Alright. I'll just use both, and then I'll get both buffs. Haha, <laughs> I'm a genius. Gotta use wild smile. It's the only reason we've made it this far. I was about to say, can't kill what you can't hit, and then he immediately hit. Oh, by the way, I should be activating boosters. <clears throat> yeah, you got boost power! Use Harden. Guys, I don't have anything against Pokemon, but I'm all set with playing Pokemon games. <laughs> That's a gaming confession I'm not really ashamed of. Nothing like playing an RPG where you have one party member versus one party member. An RPG made of one-on-one -on -one fights. Where you take one turn at a time. I mean, I understand the appeal. Ah, cockfighting. I understand the appeal of collecting the Pokemon, I suppose, if you like collecting things. But uh, an RPG where you just one-on-one -on -one fight most of the time, and it's just my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. Oops, I rock'em sock'em roboted you to death.
Yeah, get hit with a Rygo. I feel like this is going well. We'll see if I lose or not, though. Oops, I won. Wow, the last boss battle I actually had to try, and then this boss battle... It's not over yet! Not yet, Snake! No, Commander, pull out! No, my pull-out game is weak. Ugh, ugh. It's impossible with your wounds. Bridge, secure the retreat. Main gun, elevation 0.8. Support fire 30, fire! I was not speaking of me personally, Sky Knight. I was just talking about the character. <laughs> <laughs> From above. No, it couldn't be. Bridge. Dimensional vibrations, level 8. A huge formation is coming this way. <laughs> Just as I feared. Shavat. Change heading 180 degrees now. All ships full speed. Retreat from this position. You were right, Sky Knight. Some convoluted plot element came and got in our way. We're never going to beat this guy up. The, 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 these two characters might as well be Team Rocket. Huh? What was that? Felt like an air attack. I'll go see. Yeah, maybe that's the best idea you've had. Let's go see what just sniped them out of the sky. You know what's amazing? In the time it took me to save once in this game, you could download in an entire game. <laughs> Obviously not a very big one, but still. You could have played to this point? What do you mean? I still am not sure... Oh, yeah. You could have caught up to me by the time it took me to save, yeah. That's why someone recommended doing a no-save run. Imagine how much time your speedrun would save if you played the entire game without saving. my eyes. That attack's gonna make me have a seizure.
all I have to say, Sky Knight, about your chat message is hashtag Wefford. <laughs> Received ground. <laughs> hashtag Wefford needs a needs a meaning before I can make it an emote. Well, I'd say my my mech upgrading I did earlier has worked out so far, at least. <laughs> Can't we go through the door down below? What, what do you mean? Oh, that door. It's not going to. If it did, I would we 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 would be playing Paper Mario instead. That's an RPG with platforming that works. Received O2 cylinder. Why is the whole ship sideways? Old nugget. Have either of you seen or played Near Automata, by the way? I know I'm bringing that up kind of out of the blue, uh, but it's because I mentioned 2B earlier. Uh, actually, I was probably supposed to do more in there than just open a treasure box. Androids that breathe like they need to breathe, question mark. What is that sentence, Sky Knight? I, I get the final part. What am I doing? No, no, no. No, don't... Oh, you don't have to check the memory cards. Ugh. Oh no, the bookkeeper's dying. Oh, okay. Well, it's another game I wouldn't mind streaming someday because I like it quite a lot. It's also another game uh, with a lot of Christianity references. Lock clear, done. Okay. Communications are- Communications are up! And it has a character in it named Adam. There is no Japanese Jesus in it, though. No, I'm sorry. What the? Now what have we done? I don't like that the music went away.
All right, it's back. How cold is it outside right now? I need to know because my heater's on and it's cold in my apartment. <clears throat> it is 37 degrees out right now. That's nice. Guess I'm turning my heater up. Welcome to Maine, where the, it can rain all day long and then drop below freezing by the end, by six o'clock. Well, it's not quite below freezing yet, but it'll be there in like the next thirty minutes. <laughs> Wait, your faux pas? Are you talking about... Are you talking about your sentence about androids that need to breathe like they need to breathe? Or are you talking about when I read through that really good sentence yesterday that sounded like backwards talking? And no, I don't live in Castle Rock, Derry, or Jerusalem's lot. Uh, I live in Maine. Somewhere near the middle. Actually, right in... right dot dot right in the center of Maine. I used to live in the same city as Stephen King. Well, what? See, that's what I mean, Sky Knight. I read Breath, uh, as Breathe. Even though that's not how you spelled it. Why am I not still there? Because Bangor is a city that I lived in... Well, lived in, quote-unquote. I spent a lot of time in... O over at my grandma's house, because it's where she lived. But I I, I lived there over the summers when I would go visit her. Uh... Bangor is somewhere I would love to live. The problem is, I don't have a car or a license, and I live in the town that I work in, because I can walk to work. Maybe someday, I will, I will live in Bangor again. And I'll bum a cigarette off of Stephen King. Cool, I like how that enemy, uh, blew himself up and his friend. I don't know where Salem's Law is, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't- I don't know- I don't know these things. Which way did I just come from? Time to find out. Oh, that, that would explain why it sounds familiar. I know a fair amount of Stephen King stuff, and then there's plenty of things I don't... haven't read or watched of his work. My favorite... my favorite Stephen King work will always be... The Green Mile. Come <laughs> on. 
Um, Stephen King bought me a book when I was a kid. Okay, this is the way I came from, confirmed. Where is Pittsburgh? Pennsylvania, okay. The furthest out of the state I've been is Boston. I left Maine one time and made my way to Boston. You know, the state that, or well, state, quote unquote, the, 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 the place in the state that used to be the same state as the state I live in. Unfortunately, I couldn't fit state in there any more times. It's a deep space. Deep State Conspiracy. Whoa. Okay, so you know the state north right of the state that looks like grapes that's east of the state that has a city in it that's the same name as it Making a joke that Maine is north right of New Hampshire and New York. Hey, look, it's a it's a uh, robot that can fix me. The funny thing is, for the longest time, I thought Maine was the most northeastern state. And while, yes, it is the most eastern state, the most northern state is Michigan. That god da god g gosh darn oven mitt pokes just a little bit higher than Maine does. Or is it Minnesota? God, I don't even know my geography. Let's look at a map of America real quick while I get shot at with laser beams. I don't even know what Cabot Cove is. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. Minnesota is is even more northern than Michigan. God damn it. Why did I think Michigan was the most northern state? Michigan isn't even close to as tall as Minnesota. 
Michigan's also the top of Mr. Mimel's hat, and Michigan, or I mean Minnesota is the top of Mr. Mimel's hat. Michigan is Mr. Mimel's oven mitt that he uses to get his Kentucky Fried Chicken out of the oven. <laughs> I'm sorry I've never heard of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania when I don't even live in Pennsylvania. Let's see, have you heard of PP Island? Didn't think so. <laughs> That's checkmate on my part. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that I've never heard of Pittsburgh. What do they do in Pittsburgh? Why is it so important? There's a town in, in my state called Dexter that was used to be famous for making shoes. It was also famous for the resurgence of the KKK. That's just some history for you. I'm not proud of I'm not proud of Dexter for being part of the KKK. <laughs> I just want to put that little disclaimer out there. You can see Dexter in the beginning of one of Stephen King's movies. I don't remember which one, but it was actually filmed on location, the opening scene. <clears throat> I go to Dexter almost every week. Dexter is is like a crossroads. Just about any town or city you could want to get to in this part of Maine is connected to Dexter. I'll be 23 in four months. So I'm actually still 22. My bio says 20 year old because I'm in my 20s, not because that's my actual age. I'll update it every five years. Listen, I, I'll get my birth certificate out here. Or, you know what, I could show off my state ID, which has a picture of me when I was 
uh, I had short hair when my state ID was taken, and I looked like a convict. <laughs> I don't know my mother's maiden name. And I'm smart enough to keep those wacky digits to myself. What is this thing? What is this? I'm sure he does. I'm sure he has a lot of money he needs to give me. Now, did I just get into a battle with the thing I just jumped on, or was that a timing coincidence? I have no idea what it says. That is hiragana- uh, not hiragana. That is kanji, which is Chinese letters that Japan borrowed. I barely know any kanji. I know the kanji for, uh, Nihon. I know the kanji for Gakusei, and I know the kanji for Sensei. And I know the kanji for Jin, so I know four kanji. Say is a student, by the way. Okay, I didn't think it was going to start going back down as soon as it reached the top. This part of the game is something else, I'm telling you. Now, Evil told me I should, I should do an April Fool's stream and play Final Fantasy in Japanese only. Or not evil. Did I say evil? Sky Knight. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frame you. I was reading your name when I said when I meant to say Sky Knight. <laughs> Ugh, guys, I've been awake since 4 a.m. Oh, that dude had the symbol for Jin on him. Please be the way I have to go. Oh, thank God.
Now, Evil, I brought this up yesterday. But, uh, you referenced Twin Peaks yesterday. And, I don't know if you caught this because you were having trouble with the stream. But I talked about a game I want to play at some point called Deadly Premonition. And I was wondering if you'd ever heard of it. Deadly Premonition is a game that, uh, we'll say was inspired by Twin Peaks. Let me, let me explain the, the setting of the game for you. It takes place in a rural town in the mountains, uh, where there's been a murder that has affected the whole town. And the main character is an FBI agent who has come to investigate the murder. And the sheriff of the town wears a cowboy hat. Now, it might sound like I was describing Twin Peaks to you, but I was describing Deadly Premonition to you. Did I mention he was an eccentric FBI agent? It's a it's a Japanese uh, game that originally came out on the Xbox 360 and PS3, even though it was supposed to be a PS2 game. Uh, but it, instead of coming out on the PS2, it just got ported over to the next-gen hardware and released on the on that instead. Nowadays, the easiest way to play it is on the Switch. Yes, I will do Silent Hill Origins at some point. The only issue is I need to figure out a way to do Silent Hill Origins. If you have any recommendations, I'll gladly accept them. Because, I mean, I know it might be emulatable now, but a long time ago I tried emulating that game. And it, it was not... it was not... It was not, uh, PS PCSX2 could not run it. Now it has been a long time, so that things could have changed. Yeah, that's okay. If I can figure out a way to do Origins, I will do Silent Hill Origins next. Uh, I mean, I was planning to do another Silent Hill game soon anyway. Let me look into this real quick. Silent Hill Origins. PCSX2. Is there any... Is this usable yet? Audio glitch. Okay, so the flashlight graphical glitches have been fixed. That was the issue that s stopped the game from being... Okay, I won't, Sky Knight. Flashlight graphical glitches was an issue last time I tried doing this. Uh, the flashlight would not work in the emulation, and... Well, I'm sure you, having played the game, can understand why that would make the game unplayable. But that seems to have been fixed. Let's see here. Audio glitches. Minor. As soon as you enter the second room in the burning house, audio cuts off after a while and only resumes playing after you re-enter the room killing the whole atmosphere. There's no known solution. If you know one, please edit this. Also, might be existing in-game itself. Needs to be tested. So this, there's an audio glitch that apparently can, can happen. And if I'm not mistaken, the burning room it's referring to is from the very, very beginning of the game. So, it actually kind of looks like streaming this might not be too difficult. Especially with the flashlight issue fixed. 
because that was the reason I couldn't play it beforehand. <clears throat> also, let me check one more thing while we're while we're looking into this game. How much would this game cost you to buy nowadays, considering it hasn't had a modern re-release? Uh, Silent Hill Origins. We'll just do Amazon. Uh, the PSP version. Oh, let's say I want a new copy. <laughs> $150 for a new copy of the PSP version. Yep, PlayStation 2 version. Currently unavailable. Wow, that's uncommon. Not even available secondhand. Why is Silent Hill down for $99? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's enough of that rabbit hole. When Sky Knight gets back, I will show you guys a scene from Deadly Premonition. So you can see this for yourself. By the way, Deadly Premonition has a very Silent Hill-like atmosphere. Where some, pi some parts in the game you switch to a, a, a sort of other reality. Where things get all shifty and you're the only person there and you run into monsters. So... Picture Twin Peaks and Silent Hill together. Even though Twin Peaks inspired Silent Hill. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Well, I mean, it wasn't the only thing that inspired Silent Hill. how unnecessary that jump into the air is. He just does it to look cool. Oh, we hit the top of the map. I got scared for a second. Oh, that was seamless. <laughs> seamless transition. Here, um, after we finish up one of the shorter games we're playing, like Metroid Prime, for example, that game won't take me too many streams to get through. It's not a super long game. Uh, we'll do Silent Hill Origins, or at least as long as I can get it working, we will do Silent Hill Origins. I've got a handful of games going on. I'd like to at least beat one of them before we start anything new. But, um, 
And I am kind of glad that the, the flashlight issue has worked out now. Because that really was the only reason I couldn't play that game. Well, that and... You know, buying a PS2 copy when I was 13 and had no job would have been impossible. Considering how much it would have cost. Silent Hill Origins and Silent Hill Down Downpour are the only two I have not played, by the way. Not that I plan on playing Downpour, because I've heard Homecoming and Down- well, I know Homecoming is not amazing. But I've heard Downpour is- is not great, either. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But I kind of just planned on playing the first four, plus, uh, Origins. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know from personal experience if Downpour is actually bad or not. It's just what I've heard. I would be willing to check it out myself and give it my own opinion. I've not even seen anyone play it. And personally, there were parts of Homecoming that I did like. It wasn't amazing. It didn't blow me away, but there were some genuinely cool moments. Yeah, I think that's that I think that's uh I think that was my problem with Homecoming as well. It felt like they were trying to do it, it felt it felt like Homecoming was their attempt to turn Silent Hill into Resident Evil 4, which worked for Resident Evil, but it did not work for Silent Hill so well. I beat the hotel. I think the hotel was the last area I did. Time to figure out where we're actually supposed to go here. Hope, hope, hopefully. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, good. No. Why? Well, might as well heal my mechs. Boy, I can't wait for Babel Tower to be over. I think Sky Knight ditched. <laughs> he got out while the getting was good. He left you for dead evil.
<laughs> oh, that was perfect timing on my part. I was hoping that you would be back in time for me to say that. Well, Sky Knight, we fell and, and have to do a bunch of platforming again. That's what you missed. Oh well. I'll get a ton of extra experience points. No, no more water, thank god. All right, hold on. Let me show you. Let me pause this real quick and take a, another break real quick to show you guys a scene from from um, Deadly Premonition. So that I mean, Evil has seen Twin Peaks. I know you haven't, uh, Sky Knight, or maybe you have. Deadly Premonition. Uh, we'll just do cutscenes, I guess, and find the cutscene I'm looking for. Wow, this game has uh, seven hours of cutscenes. Seven and a half hours of cutscenes. And its sequel has ten hours of cutscenes. That's interesting. Anyway, is there timestamps? God damn it. The sequel is a Switch exclusive, by the way. And this is another game I've played but never beat, so streaming it will finally be my chance to beat it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright, we're gonna start from this scene with the children. We're children, we're children! Let me let me know if this reminds you of Twin Peaks at all. At any point. Could you wait just a little longer? <laughs> this won't take long. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Zach. Zach, can you hear me? It's me. York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Ah, good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Sure, that's one way of looking at it, but it's totally wrong. Oh, the music. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? Zach, I can't believe 
believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper, even if it ends up being a waste of time. At the very least, it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zack? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. You know, at least I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? I want you to see the sheriff and then I and then we'll get back to the game. To help clear their heads, Sky Knight. <sighs> Zack, there goes the civilized world. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. That's an appropriate response. Hold on, I'm gonna skip ahead so we can see the mayor. Or sheriff, I mean. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. This isn't the sheriff. Hold on. Don't get your... Agents don't freak York? out, evil. Good, that's good. This is the deputy sheriff. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. <laughs> nice to you. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Yeah, nothing major. Just drove it over the edge of a cliff. One of the first things you do is call a town hall meeting and get everyone in the town together. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. 
By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zack? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. <laughs> <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. <laughs> This game was written and directed by Sweary65, the guy who also did uh, Dark Dreams Don't Die or whatever that game was called. No problem. Just want to set things straight. I'm the one fixing example. But I need you to understand. Could still inside. And Tom, anything else? Really play it. You just. Anyway. That's. That's Deadly Premonition. That That's a game we're going to be streaming at some point. Back to Xenogears. The writing gets better. The writing gets better. Smoke grass. <laughs> the name's Francis York Morgan, but you can just call me York. What everyone calls me. There's a part in the game where you're driving around and he starts talking about Kevin Bacon movies. Like Tremors. Are we smonking in the chat now? Hold on. I have just the thing. version won't get me killed. What a nightmare of a Xenogear stream this has been today. Audio jungle. I think you're thinking about water and water and water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water. But no, I say audio jungle. Audio jungle. Water would work too, though. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water. My IQ is at like six right now with how tired I am. 
And the fact that we've been just platforming our way up a tower for the last two and hours. Yeah. I like the parts in this game when it's just story and I can just do silly voices. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy to do when you're tired. You really think 18 IQ would be enough for me to function any better? <laughs> the evil wouldn't give me any IQ if it was enough to save my life. <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. My IQ is 6.6.6. .6. The number of the beast. Ooh, wah, uh, uh, uh. How is it already 7 o'clock? It feels like I just got home from work 30 minutes ago. Oh yes, it, it certainly does, Sky Knight. Time flies when your mech can't. I'm gonna be so OP by the next time I get to a boss battle that I fight outside of my mechs. Yeah, I'm grinding all the experience points. In a game that does not require grinding at all. What doesn't kill me will make me stronger. Ugh. Before you know it, I'll be sculpted, but well built. Also, Bart just hit level 50. And I'm gonna guess the level cap is 99, like most Square RPGs of this era. You guys ever hear about the story about the dude who reached level 99 in Final Fantasy 7 uh, in the during the first bombing mission? I'm talking about the original game, by the way. He stayed in the beginning area of the game. 
and leveled up Cloud and Barrett to level 99. Uh, I'll look it up in just a second. I'm going to do something here that I don't normally do, but I'm going to do a, a little save state for my own sanity and yours. Call me what you will. Call me what you will. All right, uh, Final Fantasy VII, level 99, before first boss. Uh, Final Fantasy VII player reaches level 99 before first boss out of spite. His, his characters were named Dick and Tree, and they reached level 99. And it took how long? Uh, around 500 hours. So do the math. I can't do the math right now. I don't have enough IQ to do the math right now. Uh, but do the math. And that's how many days it took. You divide by like... Uh, no. Yeah. Divide by... Uh, 24. There you go. Divide 500 by 24. Yeah. And that's how many days it would have taken if you had done it for 24, like done it 24-7 for those 21 days. It would have taken even longer than that, considering he had to take breaks in between. I wonder if he got strong enough to one-hit the first boss. <laughs> Alright, Sky Knight, yeah, you do that, but then you come back tomorrow, and you're looking at the game over screen. Alright, I know we've had a lot of stream interruptions today, but it has been kind of a slow stream. Have you guys ever seen Final Fantasy VII Pointy Bits? The animation on YouTube. Sky Knight has seen it, Evil has not. Sky Knight, should we show him? Ta 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 You didn't answer my question, <laughs> if, if we should share. <laughs> Alright, we'll do it. Evil, you're in for a treat. Now, I have another question. Uh, have you seen the second animation? I don't remember what the second one's called, but it came out more recently. Okay, well, you're both in for a treat, then. Let me ascend this tower a little further, and I'll show them off as a reward. Uh, watch out for those pointy bits!
Please tell me we're nearly done with this. Don't make me make this jump, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> at least I didn't fall all the way down. That's that's the only thing I can say nice about this at the moment. This stream today feels like just one big ass two and a half hour long ship boast. <laughs> That's how I would describe today's today's RPG Monday. I didn't call Picard anything. What was that Patrick Stewart quote where he's like, Get off my fucking lawn! That doesn't sound like Patrick Stewart, but I can't do a Patrick Stewart impression right now. Let's not screw the pooch. Just make the jump. Okay, who wants to watch an animation? Here we go. Pony cartoons, yay! Watch out for those pointy bits. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore because of the low poly. Hey, what's that? What's what? That little red thing down there. You'll have to be more specific, baby. The good lord crippled me with colorblindness like the asshole he is. That little pointy thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, let's go check it out. Good idea, my chocolate comrade. Chocolate? Yeah, you know, because you're. Black? I'm um, what? Take us down there, fully fledged pilot. Okay. I don't mean to sound cynical, but this nigga is gonna kill us. Nah, he just looks big. We'll show him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relax, Sea Loud. It's a good thing we have those Phoenix Downs, yeah? You have the Downs. Listen, baby, all we gotta do is level up a little bit and yeah. go back. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 ow. Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. Relax, baby. It ain't loaded, which is probably why we lost. Check it out. Uh, stop it. Uh, stop it. Uh, stop it. Oh, shit. Hey, guys, check out what I just learned. If I put my finger on this big old button, I could be like, da, 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 da. Yeah. 
Okay, so that was the first one. You ready for the second one? You ready for the sequel that yet neither of you have seen? Wait, what? Wait, what? What about the ending? Did I miss something? Hold on. Pony cartoon. Oh, yeah, I did miss something. Shit. Okay, that was everything. Now for the sequel. Hey, Spikey! Time to go snowboarding, buddy. Bro. I'm still kind of upset about that thing that happened. I can't really think about anything else right now. Come on, it'll be fun. You just gotta put this on your foot here. This on this foot here. God, your boots are pointy. And there you go. Whoa, meet you at the bottom, buddy. <sighs> like to lose someone important to you. Say, is that a snowboard? Back to the game again. Bro. It was kind of your fault. <laughs> I love Sephiroth's shocked expression of the fact that he, it was his fault Cloud was upset. Listen, this game has been fun right up until this part, and then it became not fun. <laughs> I like how they used models ripped from the game, but then they modified the, the, the eyes to look like the Oni art style, and they modified some of Tifa's assets. <clears throat> and they gave everyone mouths. Okay, I think I should probably jump from up here. Leap of faith, everyone. Oh my god, I did it. What do you mean, cut stream will never repeat? You mean I'll never have to make that jump again? I hope so. I hope it's the last jump I have to make tonight.
Actually, guys, you know what? We should go back to the bottom real quick so we can heal our mechs. No more jumping. Please. Can't take any more. I'm gonna be level 99 before I get out of Babel Tower. Looks like we can climb up. Yeah, uh, please, get me the fuck out of this room. Oh, good god, his save spot. I want to finish Babel Tower tonight, so that next time we stream this, next Monday, I don't even have to think about this place. What? No ceiling. So this is where Shavat used to be. You're telling me we could have just jumped in here from the top. There are marks from some huge thing. Oh yeah, is there any comm equipment nearby? Ah, up there. Why can't our gears do that? From here is Shavat's territory. Many people have tried to get in, but Sibzen and I removed them. Wait a minute. We just want to... Get ready. Imagine if there wasn't a save spot up here and you had to fight a boss before you could save. After doing all of that platforming. Activate boost power! Yeah, you know what? It does look like sumo gear. I ain't ever seen a move like that in sumo wrestling, though. Ah. That's always a good sign when you start a battle and your first attack does zero damage. Uh... There we go. At least we didn't have to do any card battling this stream. Of course the enemy had to have the ability to heal itself. And I doubt they can run out of fuel. laughter. It's like frustration. It's raw frustration. 
<laughs> it's like that goddamn battle cry I made when we were playing Amnesia. I will- I haven't clipped it, but I will clip it. I will clip it either tonight or tomorrow. Oh, she felt that. <laughs> okay, I, I will see about doing that. There's a lot of stuff I have to learn how to do once we reach Affiliate. <laughs> it's okay, Evil. I, I understand Sky Knight's enthusiasm. Think about how I've felt. I've been doing. I've been going at this for a year now, uh, and here I am, like at the cusp of reaching affiliate. Think about how enthusiastic I am, am and how much I'm holding back. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, because <laughs> honestly, I just feel like a dickhead who plays video games and people started showing up. Oops, I won. <laughs> Man, Skeletor really did us a service when he helped me arm my mechs. Well, I'm glad you guys like being here, because I enjoy... I enjoy streaming when you guys are here. Yes, Queen's effort. There's text going by, and it's uh, it's going by automatically. When it does that, I can't read it. Yo, is them aliens? Nah, it's Shavat. This is, like, this game's heaven. Sorry, just wanted to test your strength. The Queen is awaiting for your arrival above. What? But we weren't even here to get... Okay. The god, uh, god splits the tongues. Useless. They allowed contact with Shavat. There is an anima relic in Shavat. 
We can't afford to have them align before preparations are complete. It's meaningless if it is not compatible with our type. You want to bury all of Shavat? What of the Animus? There are others. We must respond severely so this doesn't happen again. What about the Shavat gate? As long as it is there, we can't get in. Easy. We just use Akshzen's gravity cannon to compensate for the time-space warp. Akshzen, is it operational? Re-education is complete. It is ready. The airborne squad is already assembled. Any side effects? The regulated 71st Airborne should have no problems. Well then, I look forward to this. That's the evil council whose voices change every time they do. This is the dock floor located at the lowest layer of Shavat. I met you a little while ago. My name is Maria Balthasar. Balthasar. I've heard of that name before. Hey, Faye! Isn't that the same name as the eccentric old man? Remember the crazy old man playing with gears under underground event? Yeah, back at, like four hours into the game. That's right, old man Ball, the hermit. That reminds me, the gear I saw resembles Ball's gear. <laughs> Calamity. <laughs> I wonder if Ball's gear has ball bombs. Calamity? That's the prototype gear my grandfather made. Do you know my grandpa? Where is he now? I just happened to come across him in the cavern underneath a Vez desert. I didn't know him that well. So you're old man Ball's grandchild. Old man Ball's. Grandchild. Yes, but I haven't seen him for the past few years. He said he was looking for something very important. And he left it by himself. Uh, left by himself. My father was captured by Solaris and his whereabouts are not known either. But that crazy old... Your grandpa looked just fine. He's the kind that never dies. Don't worry, Squirt. I'm not a squirt. Besides, my grandpa isn't a crazy old man. I know it. Sorry. Don't get mad, Squ- uh, Maria. I didn't mean to offend. I apologize. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I heard you say sorry once already. You don't need to say it again. Anyhow, Queen Zephyr is waiting. Please go ahead and take the elevator to go upstairs. I still have to finish inspecting Seebzen. I'll show you the way to the palace when the time comes. Till then, please take a look around town. I'll see you later. Alright, let's go up there. The, the cursed land, Savat. Shavat. The answer's got to be here. Okay, let's bring 20-30 of those gears that kid was riding on home. My reading skills are unmatched. Your old man Ball's granddaughter! Okay, welcome to Shit City. Oh, we rarely have visitors from the surface. Welcome to the wandering city in the sky, Afal Aura. I was kind of thinking of that magic city from Chrono Trigger. This city used to be the capital of Shavat. 
an independent liberal country that fought against Solaris. A place that turns yesterday's tears into tomorrow's smiles. That's what they called this city a long time ago. Well, Chrono Trigger is up for RPG Monday someday. Because that is a good game that I've never beat. <laughs> but now, those hopes and despairs have been worn away long ago. Probably the only things that remain are the echoes of resentment. I like the music here. We're gonna explore this town a little bit, and then that, and then the, it'll be the end of the stream. <laughs> I've beat a lot of RPGs, but I'm dedicating RPG Monday mostly to games I have not beat. That's kind of the point of it. Once in a while, I want to throw in a, a shorter RPG that I have beat, like Paper Mario. Something like that, Mario RPG. <clears throat> you might be able to find something that can solve your troubles and sadness, but fate can be cruel sometimes. Don't forget that. That stone plate floating there is called a stepping stone. It moves with people on it. Try and get on it and talk to the stone. We'll be glad to give you three th th give three of you a ride. Thanks, homeboy. Wow, this place lags my PlayStation. Okay, this is a over comically large dog. Okay, cool. Let's just design an area that gives the, the PlayStation 1 frame rate issues. <laughs> but it's aesthetically pleasing. Hello and welcome. As you can see, the Deep Sea Bros is open. It's just that we aren't doing any business right now. Alright, well, see ya, evil. I'll be saving this soon anyway. But I'm glad you could make it. Uh, thanks for coming by, and I'll possibly see you tomorrow night. Around like 5, 5.30. Can't talk to that person. Insert 20 gold. Okay. Yo. Pretty sure that was the theme of the, the song. Uh, uh, song? Wow. The theme of the song. Pretty sure that was the theme of the first village in the game. <laughs> How did I get through that platforming? Like, perfectly, but... You know what? Whatever. I don't care. Why do humans hate and hurt each other? Everyone lives under the same blue sky. Okay, Dante. Will there ever be any relief from the pain of losing what was precious to us? When will it be the day we can understand what all this loneliness and sorrow was for? In short, we may be repeating the same mistake we made 500 years ago. Thank you for your wisdom. Colonel, have you ever heard the theme of the song? <laughs> the heat death of the universe. Oh, this. Yo, it's monkeys, people. Ha ha! Who would have figured? There's a rumor that the secret room of the Sage of Shavat is hidden somewhere in this town. I wonder if it's true. Wow, what's... that's strange. You smell like soil and trees. Yes, you do. Long ago, the Choo Choo tribe lived in the woods with no interference. Yes, they did. I wonder if someday we could ever return to the land and live in the woods again. What is this place? Uh, ha, uh, a guest. It's been a while. Welcome, welcome. It'd be great if you bought lots and lots of them. My favorite. Sell me that item that's ridiculously cheap and really, really good. 
Thanks. Thank you, come again. I'll give you a discount next time. They're so beautiful. These are wonderful things that nobody else sells. Yes, they are. That's a very important treasure of the Choo Choo, so I can't sell it to you. Sorry. Please go to the counter if you'd like to buy something. Thank you, thank you. All right, canonically, these things are Canadian, just because of the way it said sorry. I'm not doing a Canadian accent. I take back what I said. I hear the, the sage and Shavat did some research on the Choo Choo tribe's tradition. Yes, he did. That's a lot of work. Even the old generations of the Choo Choo tribe don't know many things about it. The guys in Solaris pestered the Choo Choo tribe who'd lived on this big star from the beginning. So Gramps and Grandmas escaped with the people from Shavat. Yes, they did. But most of the Choo Choo's couldn't escape and were killed. Those guys ate them. Yes, they did. That reminds me. I'm hungry. Yes, I am. I just remembered I haven't had lunch yet. Forget the guardian god of legend. Nobody believes such fairy tales in this day and age. No, no. If a great big guardian god existed, he'd have beaten Solaris to death a long time ago. Yes, he would. Just a bunch of optimistic, happy guys that are... What are we to do about them? I see that they, they, they're referring to the Old Testament god. Ro we can buy rods. Yo, you want to buy rod? These are unlimited. Okay. All right, I'll take a few of these, a few of these. A couple of these. One of each of these. Basically, I'll take your whole stock. Thanks. Watch me never use any of those items. <laughs> One drugs, please. Thank you, thank you. Come again, will ya? I'll give you a discount. Alright, get me the hell out of here. I need to go find a save spot so I can save. So we can be done for tonight. This game, this game murdered me tonight, with its platforming. I, it was like, yo, you wanna have fun? Nope. Hello, surface people. Look at this picture, it's me and my wife a long time ago. It may be hard to believe, but there was a time when we were young too. Full of dreams and hopes. My wife died two years ago, so I asked the people in the world below to bury her ashes in the earth. My time will also come soon. Could you young people bury my ashes in the earth for me too? I'm tired of waiting and believing to rest in peace in the earth. But I was wondering what it would be like to live without getting old like Wayne Zephyr. What was she seeing in her for the past 500 years? Did what she see in here really bring her happiness? That I don't know! Worst voice I've ever done for a character. This country's been through a lot. We no longer have enough strength to fight Solaris. Accidental Skyrim character voice. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everybody is obsessed with death. You people from the world below should go to the royal palace. Queen Zephyr will listen to your wishes and show you the way. He may be the new hope for those who are against Solaris. Skyrim is for the Nords. Uh. 
This is the end of the city. If you're not leaving yet, you better turn back. Oh, so you're waiting to meet up with Maria. No, we're not. Hold on. I, I need- I want to save. I don't want any more- I don't want to get locked into like a two hour long cutscene. Oh, so you're not. Sorry. Well, anyway, why not rest up and unwind in our fair city? Yes. That's a question you always say yes to. Okay, where is where is there a safe spot in this city? Ah, this doll has something in its hand. Dust rock. Okay, we're stealing from children. You want to sleep in their beds and eat their porridge too while you're at it, Faye? This is... They were killed by Solaris. To hell with them! Innocent, blameless lives are taken away. It's the same everywhere. <laughs> Thank God I didn't find the tower. Found a child's memory from long ago. But nobody could take that away. What the fuck? Why did you have to just say that to me, game? <laughs> That's the thanks. That's like a bullet of instant depression. By the way, a child died here. Can you believe that? Actually, I think I know where I can save. I don't think I need a specific, specifically a save spot. I think I can just go out to the world map here and save. Maybe, hopefully. Just shy of 34 hours. We're like one minute away from being 34 hours into this game. Disc 2 better not be another 34 hours. No, I can't save. God damn it. I gotta be able to save somewhere. Maybe I can go back to where we fought that boss. <laughs> well, I, I mean, not all PlayStation 1 RPGs were 100 hours long. Most of them were right around, you know, 50, 60. Which is fine by me. I just want to go back to the save spot and save, so I don't have to do the boss battle again. Please just let me do that. Please. Where are we now? <laughs> it's amazing that we like RPGs so much when they do ha when they do sometimes turn into work. Hey lady, how do I get to a save spot around here? Okay, well, I guess Sky Knight, we're, we're, we're continuing to play because I can't save. Maybe there's a save if we go in the direction of the Queen. Yeah, fetch quests aren't that great. 
I liked that most of the... I'm going to use Dragon Quest XI as a reference, because I know that's a game we've played. Um, that game had quite a few side quests. I didn't mind most of them, but there was a few that were kind of... Like, why does this have to be such a pain in the ass to do? Found the safe spot, by the way. It was hidden. Okay, that's going to conclude the stream for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was fun. As much as it was torture, it was fun. I will be back on tomorrow with Peace Walker uh, around 5, 5.30ish. So hopefully I'll see you then if you're available. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I got I got to pee really badly and figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. <laughs>